Welcome to First Person Defender, where good guy role players come face to face with unknown hey, attackers in real world get scenarios and fight their way down. out. Do it now! Each episode of First Person Defender features a situation straight out of real life. Get down on the ground now! This is First Person Defender. Doing him a favor, a man checks on a friend's house only to be surprised by an intruder. Is here, Get down, down on the ground! Right Lay right right down! down. My name is Chad, and I'm assistant sales manager for a firearms distributor. First time I got started shooting, I was 15 years old. Started hunting when I was young, and it's been a, an ongoing thing since then. I do have a concealed carry permit. I've had now for 10 plus years, and I do carry a gun. Do some uh, silhouette shooting at the range, just to practice, to try and stay on, on top of my skills. Been through some tactical team training with former SWAT members, running through the scenarios with a team with your with your your buddies on your shoulder, and then turn around and going live with a live weapon totally changes your thought process. Typically up pretty early in the morning. I do a little training in the morning, so I'm leaving you know early hours. It's still dark outside most of the times. So constantly aware of my surroundings. I'm. My head's on a swivel when I walk out the door. I want to know what's going on around me, um, make sure my weapon's always available just in case. Chad's kind of standard in that he started with the hunting sports, and the hunting sports have led him to personal defense, pistol sports, and going out and shooting steel, things like that. And he has had some tactical training, and not just tactical training, but live fire tactical training. So he understands just how dangerous and real that is. Listening to Chad talk right away, he's one of those guys that would never overestimate his skill. So he's got a, a really great background. I'm interested to see how he operates. For Chad today, We've got a relatively simple scenario. He's gonna come home to find a burglary in progress. He's gonna not notice anything, which is gonna lead him into the house. Because if he saw the front door open, Chad's the kind of guy that's gonna stay out. But we're gonna have the house buttoned up, he's gonna go in. I'm not exactly sure how he's gonna to react to this, but I'm relatively certain that he's gonna do a very good job with this. Get down on the ground! Lay down! I know it makes sense to protect myself. And the confidence the laser gives me makes even more sense. With your handgun and the training to back it up, a laser sight is the most common sense path to protection in a time of crisis. Crossbreed is known for inventing and perfecting the most comfortable inside the waistband holsters. We also make the highest quality mag carriers and belts sturdy enough to hold the weight of any gun. Crossbreed, conceal and carry the cross. For more than a hundred years, the Model 1911 has been by our side through it all. And proudly, it's once again a Remington, America's favorite pistol design by America's most trusted gun maker. First Person Defender, brought to you by Remington, Springfield Armory, and Simunition. Chance got a great mindset. He says that he gets up early, he goes to train every morning, his head's on a swivel. Those are types of things that, that advanced people talk about. You know, they talk about their routine and how in their routine, they keep their wits about them. And having your head on a swivel is something I use all the time. But he's gonna do very, very well because he's gonna be cautious and he's gonna be very concise. All right, Chad, so you have friends, right? Yes. Okay, so today what you're doing is you're coming home from work, you've got a friend that's out on vacation, he asked you to stop into his house a couple times a week. Mm -hmm. Just check to make sure everything's okay. Nothing's, no, no broken water pipes, nobody's broke in and ransacked the place, that right. kind of stuff, right? Okay. That could happen. Absolutely. All right, so that's exactly what you're going into today. Um, you've probably never been in this house before. No. But it's your first time checking on it. Okay. All right, any questions? None. We got people in yellow shirts for filming reasons. So remember, ignore those people. Okay, are you ready? Pretty sure I'm ready. Okay, I want you to react as you have been trained. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't do the training yet.
What are you, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing in this building? Whoa, I'm supposed what are you to be doing in this house. It's supposed to be here. I got ID, man. I got ID. Who are you? I'm supposed get to be here. Get down on the here. ground. I, I'm just here fixing get the sheetrock. Get down on the I'm ground. I'm just here fixing the sheetrock. Lay down. Man. I'm just here. I'm Lay just down. here fixing the sheetrock, man. Lay down. Face down. Put your hands out. I'm just here fixing the sheetrock. Put sheet your rock. hands out. Bro, bro, man. Brian sent me. Why are you Lay playing down. Down. Put your hands out. Show me how you point a gun at me. Who's here with you? I'm just here for the sheep. You're here by yourself? I Get mean, your hand away from your waist. Look, I got I'm ID. I'm gonna put one in your back. I've got ID. Throw your ID out. Man, I've got ID. It's in here. Oh no, it's in my other one. Ah, get your hand away from your waist. Put your hand out. Throw that thing out. Where's your weapon? Why are you stepping on me? Where's your weapon? Weapon, man. I'm here to fix she rock. All right, index. Index, index. Wow. Yeah, wow, tell me. <laughs> That's an intense situation. Never been here before. Uh, you're not really expecting to find somebody in the house. And knowing your buddy's on vacation, and you walk in and there's somebody hiding in the closet, says he's doing sheetrock. You know, he wanted to keep telling me he had ID. I don't care about your ID. I want you to lay down till I can determine whether you're fixing to try and kill me. What what happened when, when he reached for that ID? I mean, what were you thinking and what did you see? <sighs> First thing I thought was he's reaching for a weapon. So this could turn bad real quick and it's not gonna be me. I thought Chad did a great job on this first scenario. He did exactly what I thought he would. The only thing I cautioned him on was going too close and trying to actually touch the suspect. Because you can control him from there in the doorway. If he reaches and decides to come out with a gun, well, you've already got your gun on him. And we never even talked about it, but he could have moved back a little further into that doorway and maybe even used part of that doorway for cover while he waited for law enforcement to arrive. So today we've got a Ruger 1911. So standard, we've got some Crimson Trace Crips on it. And I'm gonna show you something that you can do with the guys when you go out to shoot. I mean, something fun. Did you know that he was gonna draw a wallet? No. Okay, so you didn't know it was a wallet until you could see the wallet, right? Right. So these are right here in, in front of your face, but what we do is we're gonna work it from the holster and I'm gonna keep this up in front of you. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna call something, I'm gonna say, gun, and you're gonna draw, find it, drive to it, and engage it. So we're loaded and ready. Um, we're gonna start off nice and slow and easy, and then I'm gonna change it up just a little bit on you, and I'll tell you how we're gonna do it, all right? Okay. All right, so are you ready? We're gonna put two rounds in the target that I call. Okay. Ready? Knife. on good hits all right so as we go on what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna say I'll call a color and I'm gonna wait just a little bit until that gun's coming out and then it's gonna come down so you're not looking for it while the guns coming out because remember these decisions are made in split seconds here we go ready purple good job can't find purple can you so we don't just shoot because the gun comes out, do we? So this is a way you could come out and you could do decision-making drills. Think about it. You could increase the distance. You could incorporate some fundamentals of marksmanship because the farther away you get, the harder it is to hit the target. Also, the harder it is to see what you're looking at. You could put shapes up there. You could do anything you want. You could keep this. You could keep it obstructed for longer. You could obstruct it less. You could call out something that's not even there. He did a great job with the shooting aspect. His handgun work was perfect. This is also a big mental drill because you've got to see, you've got to locate, you've got to identify, and then you've got to address it by pointing the gun at it and getting accurate hits on target. Next up, Chad faces the same house, but a different intruder, and it goes south quickly. How to shoot the all-new XD Mod 2 4-inch from Springfield Armory. Pick it up, raise it to eye level. Fire with an increased grip zone. Where you point is where you shoot. The XD Mod 2 4-inch from Springfield Armory. Feel the difference. 
limb, concealable and powerful protection. The M&P Shield by Smith & Wesson. Confidence? We perfected that years ago. First Person Defender, brought to you by Smith & Wesson and Crimson Trace. All right, well, I want you to meet an important person that's part of First Person Defender here, and it's Barrett Kendrick. All right, and Barrett is our resident safety officer. He's also your favorite bad guy. Barrett, Chad, Chad Barrett. Chad, pleasure to meet you. So you know we change things up in there, and Barrett's got a new role, maybe. Doesn't mean we always change it up. Deal with the threat that's presented to you if there is one. So, you think you're ready for this? I think I am. You got any questions, comments, or concerns? Are you gonna tell me what you're gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Well, we got your gear here. Let's get geared up. We not only changed the scenario, but there's a decoy waiting for Chad. Hello? Anybody here? I'm coming to check the house. Is anybody here that's supposed to be here? Hello? Hello? Come out of this house. Get out! 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 Brian's got me here, man. I'm just Put your hands out. where I can see it. I'm just trying to get out I'm of here. I'm gonna shoot. Man, man, get Put the your hand where I can see it. Don't shoot me. I'm just Put trying to get out of here. Get out. I'm, just, I'm getting out of here in my pocket, man. Get out of here. Index, index, index. All right, real quick. What would you do right now? Call the cops. Okay, call police, let them know what happened, right? Absolutely. Chad started out right away doing a great job. He came in, he knocked, he announced. Hello? He called out several times, called into the living area, he called down the hallways. Anybody here? I'm coming to check the house. So if anybody was gonna answer that was supposed to be there, he was gonna get a response. Barrett was not gonna be responding. At some point during the setup, we put a little bit of a decoy in the closet where he first encountered Barrett on the first scenario. We hung his shirt back up in there with some tape. I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but it worked out pretty good because it caused him to kind of go on edge Hello? and get his gun out. I was like, that's bad, something's not right. Now, he didn't just draw and shoot the shirt hanging in the closet, but he got his gun out because his perception was something just wasn't right. So as I turned the corner and, and made my way into the room, he was in the closet and he was able to position himself sideways to me and basically use the wall of the closet to block half of his body so I could not see his right side. And then I said, show me your hands. Turn, get out of the closet, show me your hands. And he did not comply, he stayed turned. So I was, okay, this guy's carrying another weapon. Kept my laser on center mass as much as I could with him turned to the side. I just had it, you know, where it needed to be. When he proceeded to pull out the pistol and he raised his left arm and he actually never really totally turned towards me and, and, and framed himself up to me. So I just saw the pistol come up from underneath his arm 
but the reason I saw it was because I knew where my laser was, but I was focused on his hands. And whenever he raised that arm, I saw the barrel of that pistol, and I immediately just engaged and shot. In my book, Chad gets an A+. He did a great job on this. He showed great restraint, handled the stress, the situation, knowing that we were intentionally going to make it harder for him. And he did exactly what he was supposed to do.